I am so glad you're here for another episode of Mechanism Monday, where every Monday we write out the electron pushing arrow mechanisms for different organic reactions. In last week's video, I asked if you could solve the mechanism for this organic reaction. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you another mechanism to solve for next week's video. Before we dive in, I want to let you know about a brand new podcast series that I'm starting December 1st. The podcast is titled Unknown Variables, and in this podcast, I sit down with experts and scientists that are shaping the world to learn about the stories that shape them. If you're interested in these types of conversations, you can check out the description below to follow the new page. Now let's draw some arrows. This reaction comes from a paper published by Harwood and co-workers in Tetrahedron in the year 1999. You can check out the reference right here. And this work, and this reaction in particular, highlights the rapidity with which we can perform complex chemical transformations in almost a single step. And oftentimes, these are facilitated by electrocyclic reactions. And in this example, we're going to see an example of a 3 plus 2 electrocyclic reaction. This reaction begins with imine formation, which is common anytime you have an aldehyde and a nitrogen-based nucleophile. And since we don't have a reductant like sodium cyanoborohydride, this actually stops at the aminium ion which I actually have a video for that you can check out on the screen. The next step, a base is going to be used to deprotonate one of the neighboring hydrogens. This actually ends up generating what's known as an illid, which is a neutral molecule that contains both a positive and a negative charge on adjacent atoms. This is most commonly seen when Wittig reagents, but we also see the formation of one here. And that actually gets us to this intermediate, which undergoes that three plus two reaction that allows us to get our product. And I drew it in this formation so that you can see exactly how these electrons are moving throughout the system. And I drew it in this confirmation because this is actually the favored confirmation where we've generated an E aminium ion where this side of the chain is coming in this direction to inhibit the non-covalent interactions that might occur with this phenyl ring. So then from here, these pi electrons located at this carbon ion will come and attack this carbon position, which then allows these pi electrons to be delocalized to come and close our ring and attack this carbon position which will also move these carbon electrons over to this position in order to give us a neutral nitrogen. And this actually closes both of our rings simultaneously where this ends up generating our final product. So to recap, the first step is nucleophilic attack of the nitrogen nucleophile to the aldehyde. This is the generally accepted pathway to the formation of iminium ions, which you've probably seen before in reductive amination. However, since there's no reductant, the next step is actually gonna be deprotonation of the alpha carbon hydrogen, via a base. This results in the loss of water and also the formation of our illid, which again, remember, is going to be that neutral compound where the adjacent atoms have opposite charges. So the nitrogen will be positively charged for the aminium and the neighboring carbon will be a carbon ion. Subsequently, we get our 3 plus 2 electrocyclic reaction. And remember, the E aminium is preferred to avoid the non-bonding interactions with the phenyl group. What's more is that we get exo attack is required because of the imine geometry and also attack from the face opposite of the phenyl group is going to be preferred. If you enjoyed this week's mechanism, give it a thumbs up down below. And for next week, I'd love to see if you could figure out the electron pushing arrow mechanism for this organic reaction. Drop your proposal down below and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss out on another Mechanism Monday. I'll see you next week.